For more than 42 years, Action Chapel International has had many Kairos moments. We've hosted many guests from around the world, heads of states and icons in ministry and entertainment, in diplomacy and business. But today, however, is indeed a cherished and blessed moment among the many in our history. <laughs> Mother Fletcher, Uncle Red, and your family, we are so honored that the first stop on your historic journey in Africa and Ghana began at Action Chapel International. We warmly welcome you to the land of your ancestors, to Ghana, and also to our church. And I'd just like to also give profound thanks to two of my very dear sister friends, um, and I've known them a very long time. Our very own, Her Excellency Erica Bennett, Ambassador of the Diaspora Africa Forum. She's no stranger to this country or continent and not even to this house. And my other sister friend, whom I've known for 40 years, Bishop Dr. Tony Luck. And the COO of Our Black Truth. And I'll introduce Bishop Luck a little later. It's going to be very short. But I want to thank you on behalf of the Archbishop and Action Chapel for your indefatigable work to make Mother Fletcher's dream of visiting Africa a reality. Now, my husband, Archbishop, would have loved to have been here personally, but previously scheduled ministry commitments in the U.S. prevented him from joining us today. However, he joins us virtually with this video message. Praise God, I'm Archbishop Duncan Williams, and I'm sending love and greetings and my prayers to all of you on the behalf of the family of this great house and of all the people of the continent of Africa, I want to take the opportunity to welcome Mother Fletcher and your brother, Uncle Red, and the entire family to the nation of Ghana and this morning worshiping with us here in Action Chapel International. We are so honored and so blessed and privileged to have you I had looked forward to being with you, but circumstances beyond my control did not allow me to be with you today. However, all the bishops of the house and the pastors are equipped to take care of you. Please enjoy the hospitality of our church, the hospitality of the people of Ghana, and I am confident that you will leave Ghana with such good and pleasant memories and i pray that your visit and stay in ghana will be pleasant and will be prosperous i pray that god will renew all of your organs and cause you to enjoy the strength of your youth in the name of jesus you are a living legend you survive a lot of things you've seen a lot and you are still here you've taught us courage you've taught us persistence, commitment, relentlessness in this time of this pandemic where people are even afraid to come out and afraid to go to church. And so many have become church members online. You have traveled, flying over 10 hours nonstop to come to the motherland and not just to be in the land, but to be in church today with us. You have taught us courage. You've taught us relentlessness. You've taught us perseverance. You are fearless. You are a wonder. You are a blessing, a game changer. I celebrate you. I thank God for you. And I look forward to seeing you 
in the land of the living, if God so permits, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Now, imagine, if you will, that you were a little girl, seven years old, living safely and happily in your community. It was an all-black community in 1921 because even though slavery had ended 60 years earlier, racist vigilantes in the Greenwood community of Tulsa, Oklahoma, insisted on separate neighborhoods, separate schools, separate churches, separate hospitals, separate everything from black people. Sadly, that was the case in much of America at the time. That was our own shameful system of apartheid. But much of the black community remained resourceful, resilient, and true to their faith. Our special guest this morning, Mother Viola Fletcher, 107 years young. 107 years young. And her younger brother, Uncle Red, with 100 years of life and still counting. They are the old, they are the oldest survivors and overcomers of that massacre that I described that took place in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Their lives and even their presence here this morning is a testament to God's grace and goodness in turning pain into power and raising beauty from ashes. In welcoming and honoring Mother Fletcher and Uncle Red this morning, I want to share this short, very short video produced by Dominion TV. Born out of time A million miles From destiny Bound in chains Where once you reign Swept out to sea Within your soul is calling you, reminding you of who you truly are. Come home. to be will meet you here come home where you belong Freedom in life there are moments to stop to stand still history makers survivors. From Tulsa, Oklahoma to testifying to Congress in Washington, D.C. My name is Viola Ford Fletcher. I'm the daughter of Lucinda Ellis and John Wesley Ford of Tulsa, Oklahoma. 
I'm the sister of Hughes Van Ellis, who is also here today. I'm a survivor of the Tulsa Race Massacre. Two weeks ago, I celebrated my 107th birthday. Today, I'm visiting Washington, D.C. for the first time in my life. I'm here seeking justice, and I'm asking my country to acknowledge what happened in Tulsa in 1921. God raised up a woman, a young witness and her brother, and raised a strong, vibrant, and caring wife, mother, grandmother, sister. It's her first visit to Africa at 107 years of age. Mother Fletcher and her baby brother Uncle Red at 100 years of age are here to celebrate Africa in a very special way. I'm Ambassador Erica Bennett, Head of Mission for the Diaspora Africa Forum. We're just so excited to be hosting Mother Fletcher, 107, and her baby brother, Uncle Red, who's 100. Uh, we in Ghana, we know how to treat elders. And so they have had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time. We want to thank Lady Rosa and Archbishop Duncan Williams for the graciousness that they have given while they're here. We want everybody to come to Ghana. And we want to be able to say, Akwaba. I am sitting in the La Palm Hotel in the beautiful city of Accra, Ghana with Mother Viola Ford Fletcher, who is 107 years old, and her brother, Uncle Red, her baby brother, Uncle Red, who's 100 years old. They are two of the three survivors of the 1921 massacre, the Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And they asked to come to Africa. And I had, it was no choice for me of, of the countries that I would suggest Ghana. And so today they arrived, and today we're here with you at Action Chapel. So we are so excited. The first stop is church. Welcome, Mother Viola. Welcome to Africa. I'd like to read from one of my favorite poems by David Leo. Africa, my Africa. Africa of proud warriors in ancestral southerners. Africa of whom my grandmother sings on the banks of the distant river. I have never known you, but your blood flows in my veins. Welcome to Africa. Welcome home, Mother Viola. To Africa, your Africa. This is Dr. Olua Jai from Action Chapel International. Mother Fletcher, Uncle Red, and your entire family, welcome home. It is such a blessing and honor to have you here and to be a part of the team to help to make this cherished dream that you have come true. Your dream, Mother Fletcher, to visit the motherland, the place from whence your ancestors came, and now you are returning. We thank you for making the journey, and I wanna thank you for being a blessing all of your life, a source of inspiration when I look at the tragedies and trials that you've overcome, you are indeed a trailblazer. You are indeed a source of inspiration. And I wanna thank Bishop Dr. Tony Luck and Ambassador Erica Bennett for providing the continent with the opportunity to see you, to hear your story and to tap into your wisdom and your inspiration. I can say for my family and I, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams and myself and the Action family, we love you, we honor you, we welcome you. This will be a special moment. She's inspired and empowered. Mother Fletcher, Aquaba. This is Mother Fletcher. I would like to thank our Black Truth and Dr. Luck 
for working so hard to send my family to the motherland. I am forever thankful. Welcome to Ghana. My Mother Fletcher, Uncle Red, and your entire family, welcome home. It is such a blessing and honor to have you here and to be a part of the team to help to make this cherished dream that you have come true. Your dream, Mother Fletcher, to visit the motherland, the place from whence your ancestors came, and now you are returning. We thank you for making the journey. And I want to thank you for being a blessing all of your life, a source of inspiration. When I look at the tragedies and trials that you've overcome, you are indeed a trailblazer. You are indeed a source of inspiration. And I want to thank Bishop Dr. Tony Luck and Ambassador Erica Bennett for providing the continent with the opportunity to see you, to hear your story, and to tap into your wisdom and your inspiration. I can say for my family and I, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams and myself and the Action family, we love you, we honor you, we welcome you. This will be a special moment. She's inspired and empowered. Mother Fletcher, Aquaba. This is Mother Fletcher. I would like to thank our Black Truth and Dr. Luck for working so hard to send my family to the motherland. I am forever thankful. Welcome to God. Well, I know that was a bit redundant on purpose because we want to make that video a part of the many things that you will take home back to the U.S. So let me just say that on behalf of the Archbishop and the entire Action family, it is our honor in the custom of Ghanaian hospitality to now present you with gifts. I want to first ask um, Bishop Obodai and the other bishops of action to come to present the gift to Uncle Red. And the gifts will be received by members of their families. And after that, we will present the gifts to Mama Fletcher on behalf of the house. Okay, they're coming. Okay, we're presenting to Uncle Red. Do we have the gift? I think we have Ike, we have Mali, and uh, I'm sorry. Yes, they will take it down. Let's keep this, okay. On behalf of the Archbishop, Nicola Duncan Williams, Lady Rosa and the entire Action family, we have these gifts for Uncle Ray. Now, we have this first, the envelope for him. And I wish it was out of this bag. The bag doesn't look African. So this is a beautiful gift for Uncle Red. God bless you. Okay, so we are presenting 
Are you all, are you all going to open it or you want to open it later? Reverend Abigail, do you want to help them? You want to help them? You may open it. Um, Uncle Red, for you, we have a love offering. And we also have another very special gift from Ghana. It's authentic. Ah. 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 Okay, and now we're going to present um, to you um, for Mother Fletcher. I'd like the ladies to join me um, in presenting these gifts to you for Mother Fletcher. Mother Fletcher, with these gifts, we also pray that you and your family and Uncle Red will always be showered with the honored hospitality and favor that you sir, so richly deserve. The first gift that we will give you are flowers, which is, you know, flowers are taken from the name Yasmin, which means gift of God. So the flowers, thank you. Are you Ike? Oh, you're Ike, okay. Okay, thank you. And next we like to give you, um, selected by our own uh, Dr. Olu. Dr. Olu, I think you should help, you should help to open it. Um, some beautiful African shawls, Mother Fletcher. Okay. There's a beautiful handmade African shawls, which represents profound respect, deep affection, and friendship. May you always wear them with fond memories, Mother Fletcher, of your time in Ghana. And also, Mother Fletcher, we want to present you with a love offering. God bless you. You have it, okay. And we, and our final gift this morning, we saved the best for laughs, which Bishop, you will do the blessing. From the lead the church in blessing. Bishop Abodai, we leave you with this blessing. Bishop Abodai will lead the church in blessing you, Mother Fletcher, blessing Uncle Red, and blessing the entire family. Hallelujah. Please put your hands together, for Lady Rosa. Let's stretch our hands towards Mother Fletcher and let us pray. Our Father, we give thanks for the life of your handmaiden. For all these years you have kept her, you have protected her, you have preserved her. Many other things you have delivered her from. Her presence here today is a testimony of your awesome greatness and miracle working power. We ask the Lord as declared by your man servant that you will quicken all her organs, that you will renew her youth that the years ahead of her will be years of joy, peace, and fulfillment. May her strength not fail in the name of Jesus. Show her, O oh God, a token for good and give her a reason to celebrate over and over again in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bishop Abodai, and now to present M Mother Fletcher and Uncle Rad to the congregation, I'm pleased to introduce uh, my dear sister friend who I mentioned earlier, Bishop Dr. Tony Luck, whom I've known for 40 years, but let me just tell you something about her. She is a well-known biblical scholar. She did her theological training at Yale University. She's a pastor, a media maven, a businesswoman, and an advisor to many um, African heads of state. Uh, in addition to her work in ministry in the marketplace, she is the chief operating officer and co-founder of Our Black Truth. Um, a, Our Black Truth is a popular social media platform for Africans and African descendants. Please join me and welcoming Dr. Bishop Tony Locke, who will introduce, who will introduce 
and present the amazing mother Viola Fletcher and Uncle Red. Good morning, church. Is that the best you can do in Ghana? Good morning, church. No, no, that's not the best you can do. Good morning, church. Come on, get up on your feet. Open your mouth wide. <laughs> Hallelujah. I have a few minutes by honor of his eminence, but I was with him on Tuesday in Connecticut. And he gave a most, you can sit, be seated. He gave us a most outstanding, Bishop, amazing word about the mouth. About the mouth. Psalm 8110 says, open your mouth wide and I will fill it. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. And Mother Viola Ford Fletcher, many, many years ago, opened her mouth wide. And in that mouth was her desire to come to Africa. And here she is. Yes, he is an again God. He does it over and over and over again. He gives us the desires of our heart. I would be remiss if I did not take a moment of my few moments that the Archbishop gave me to actually recognize Lady Rosa, <laughs> who she's right. I always say she's my baby daughter, but you know, now we're peers because she's so grown up. But she is the most amazing, you have a most amazing First Lady. I don't know if you know, yeah, you need to stand up for your First Lady. Let's stand up for your First Lady. Yes, that's right. Let's give your First Lady, I am telling you, you have an amazing First Lady. The depth and the breadth of her knowledge and her access and her caring for Africa. She was the lead on AGOA. The reason we can trade in Africa is because of her. The re you, you can be seated. The reason some of your businesses are successful in trade is because of your first lady. And so please always be grateful. The second one I have to acknowledge is my own sister, Her Excellency Ambassador Dr. Erica Faye Bennett, who is the head of mission for the Diaspora Africa Forum. Again, we are the only mission in the world directly related to diasporan affairs in the entire world. And when I was asked by Mother Fletcher through my chairman, who I will introduce, to make a trip for Africa, that Ike Howard, Mother Fletcher's grandson, asked us, the first two people I called was Lady Rosa and Dr. Bennett. And because of them, we are here. So please give them both and uh, this is historical, those two ladies. I do want to recognize Mr. Ike Howard, who is Mother Fletcher's grandson, who is the one who initiated the call with my chairman. I don't, Michael, where are you? Is Michael here? Oh, you're standing there. This is the chairman, Michael Thompson, of Our Black Truth. And when we got the call from Mother Fletcher, so I, I'm saying this, taking this moment to tell you this, mainly because people have asked us, why would you bring a 107-year-old woman if she's too old? Why would you put her on a plane? We didn't bring her. She bought us. <laughs> and, and I don't know if, you, if many of you deal with older people. I was groomed by older ladies, and you know when when grandmas say one word, it says a lot, right? So a couple times, because people were pressuring us about bringing this lady so far. And so every couple days I would call and say, Mother Fletcher, are you sure? And she would say yes, and finally she said the yes. They said, don't ask me again, get me on a plane, and get me to Africa. <laughs> so.
So this is her dream come true. And be, this is her dream come true. And we made it so we would be here today. I, I am uh, a, a semi-saved person. I'm still working on it after 40 some years. But I knew we could not start this journey without coming to church. And I knew we could not go to any church except this one. Under the great leadership of his eminence, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. So we are just so honored that you have received us and you have opened your doors. I want to leave you with just one thought, one thought. Psalm 147 says that God counts the stars and names them by name. There are 400 billion stars in just this galaxy. And there are about a billion galaxies. So that is one with 19 zeros behind it, one billion trillion stars. That the God you love, who loves us, counts those stars by name. And guess what? He also counts you by name. And so it's my honor to go down, Mother, we'd like you to say something. The Archbishop asked one request, that you would give a blessing to this church. So I want to present to you Mother Viola Ford Fletcher. Mother Viola Ford Fletcher, who is 107 years old, and her brother, Uncle Red, who is Hughes Van Ellis, who's 100 years old, and they have journeyed to the motherland at her dream request. And so the Archbishop Mother would like you to just bless the church and say something about you being here, if you don't mind. Thank you very much. I want to say again. <clears throat> I've enjoyed everything and hope that the prayers from everybody that made it possible for me to come over with me and my family. And oh, I'm just so excited. I don't know what to say. <laughs> thank you. I thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, one and all, and pray for me. Well, let's what say. I just want to thank you so much. God love you, I love you, and this gonna be blessed. I'm blessed for all the people and just so wonderful. I I just so excited. I, I didn't think I'd ever get this far in life. I thank you so much. The time you spent and take your time out to spend this just for us. God bless all you. Thank you so much. So, she before I leave the podium, I would like she, to, she to thank all Mother of Mother Fletcher is not finished. She's not Bishop finished. Luck, Mother Fletcher is not finished talking. Thank something. you very much. All right. I want to say thanks again for everything and want to have God the, to bless the church. And bless you all. And bless you and, all. And bless all you all, everyone. And you should say something on behalf of the family. Thank you, Mother. On behalf of the family, I would like to thank you guys for having us as your guest. Thank you for the wonderful gifts. Uh, this church and that choir, we can, we can go on the road now. If y'all won't let me have that choir. <laughs> I, I, I know a few churches in, in Georgia and uh, Atlanta, Dallas, and California. We'd love to have you guys come and sing, especially that last song. I thought I was going to fly up. <laughs> beautiful choir, beautiful church. Bless you guys. Thank you so much. Well, before... Before I take my seat, I would like to thank clearly the Action Chapel family.
who have been so kind to us. I want to thank our team at the Diaspora Africa Forum. Those darling women and men have kept done everything so wonderful. I'd like to thank our, our Black Truth family who have come. And I cannot get off the stage without recognizing our senior sister, uh, Brenda Joyce, who's been in Ghana and who has just been our talk about a stalwart. So we thank God for her. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Please put your hands together for Tony, Bishop Dr. Tony Locke. Thank you so much for the uh, coming, for spending all this time with the wonderful team that came with uh, Mother Viola and Uncle Red. Thank you so much for coming. Amen. Please put your hands together and let's thank God for the whole team. <laughs>